In this demonstration, we're going to look at configuring, creating, and managing resource mailboxes. Resource mailboxes are specific types of mailboxes that we can use to represent meeting rooms or shared equipment, and we can include them as resources and meeting requests. And the Active Directory Directory Service User Account that's associated with the resource mailbox is disabled. We can create two different types. We can create room mailboxes, which we assign to meeting locations, and equipment mailboxes, which we can use to assign to resources. So to do that, we have a resources tab here. So I've come into my Exchange Admin Center on my Recipients tab here. I'm just going to click on Resources. Once again, Resources, what I'm now going to do is actually create a resource mailbox. So we'll click on the New button. And what we're going to do here is create a room resource. All right, so we just need to fill out the little table. So what we're going to do here is call Conference Room 1. Email address will be conferenceroom1 at datum.com. We're going to put this account into sales, location is London, and the capacity of this room is 20. Under booking requests, we will accept or decline booking requests automatically. And we want to put this on mailbox database one, so we'll just scroll down. Click on more options here. And what we're going to do is we'll just scroll this down a little bit. We'll just browse through here and place this on mailbox database one. Right now we've done all that, we'll just select our save button and that's now going to create conference room one. As we can see, we now have conference room one. So all we'll do here is we'll just double click so we can edit conference room one. So what we have here, general page just gives us general information relating to our conference room. If I click on more options, I can fill out additional information here, such as organizational unit, alias hide from the address list, address booking policies. If we come back up, we have our booking delegates, so we can configure the resource mailbox to automatically process meeting requests for all users. Or what we can do here is select a delegate who will accept or decline the booking request. So we'll set up delegation. If we come to our booking options, what we can do here is we can configure whether the mailbox will accept repeating or recurring meetings, whether the mailbox can be booked by or for meetings during regular working hours. So you decide what your working hours are. Generally speaking, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday to Friday. How many days in advance users can book the meetings. So what we can do here is we can specify the maximum booking lead time. So what I'll do is I'll specify this as a year. We can also specify how long meetings last for. And uh, what we can do is if we want the meeting organizer to receive a reply, we can put this in text here. So this is near enough a mail tip. So what I'm going to do here is somebody does book it. I'm going to say you have successfully booked conference room one. Contact information is just contact information for conference room one. So as we can see, street and address, email addresses. So what we can do is specify an email address for conference room one, specify the mail tip so we can create a mail tip display when people send an email to this user. And we can also specify things as send as, send on behalf of, and full permissions. So very similar to a mailbox user, what conference room is, Strictly speaking, just not a direct user account that you can't log in with. So now we've done all of that, we'll just select save. And that will save off the relevant information. So now we've created conference room one. Let's just test it. So we'll just go to our client machine. And on our client machine, what I've done here is I've logged in as Aiden and I want to send a meeting request. So what I'm going to do up the top here is just go to new items. And what I'm going to do here is create a meeting. So all we'll do here is we'll just put in our two and all we're going to do here is we're going to send this meeting request to administrator. And we'll make administrator required. And what we'll also do as well, just in the case of the subject here, we're just going to call this sales meeting. Now we've done that, we'll just come to our scheduling assistant. So we'll schedule the meeting at this time here. And what we'll also do as well is we'll just add some rooms. And the room we want to add here is conference room one. Now we'll just scroll this down a little bit. That's conference room one. And click OK. And now we've done that, we'll just select appointment and then we'll select send. So we've done that, we've sent that sales meeting. And as we can see here, sales meeting three minutes. So we're happy with that, so I'll just close that down there. And the other thing we can see as well is we have had the acceptance in here. So again, if we just close this down again, we can see our request has been accepted and we have successfully booked conference room one.
Right, so that's proved the auto acceptance works. So now what we'll do here is we'll actually assign a delegate and allow the delegate to decide whether or not the meeting goes ahead. So I just need to go back to my client access server and into my Exchange Admin Center. What I'm going to do here is just edit the properties of Conference Room 1. And all I'm going to do is come to Booking Delegates here and we're going to select delegates who can accept or decline booking requests. Click our Add button at this point here. And the user we're going to select here is, if we scroll down a little bit, we're going to go for AMRA. We'll select the Add button and then click OK. Now we've done that, we'll select our Save button. And now what we'll do is we'll, we'll attempt to prove that this works as well. So I'm just going to swap back to my client machine. On my client machine, next thing I'm going to do here is just actually create a new meeting request. So we're back down to meeting again. What we're going to do at this point here is we'll just click our two button again, select administrator again, click OK. Into our scheduling assistant. So what we'll do before we go there is we'll just change the time of the meeting, be from 12 till 12.30. Into our scheduling assistant, click add rooms again. And what we'll do again is we'll just select the conference room and click OK. Now that we've done that, back to our appointment tab. And what we'll do is we'll select send. And what we'll do here is we'll send it anywhere without a subject. Right, so what we can see is popped in here is we've actually got the conference room, but this time it's tentative rather than accepted. So what we need to do here is we just need to come in and have a look and find out why. So it has been received and it's pending approval. So the next thing to do here is just log in as our actual uh, delegated administrator and just accept this room request. So to do that, I'm just going to launch up Internet Explorer and go into Outlook Web App. Right, so I'm just logging into Outlook Web App as my delegated user. So we'll just save off the actual location settings. And what we can see is we can see that uh, Aiden has actually sent a, a meeting request here. So what we'll do here is we'll just accept this and we will accept the meeting and we'll send the response now. So we've now accepted that meeting through there. We'll close down Outlook Web App. And what we'll do now is we can see that we have indeed had our meeting accepted. And that's the end of this demonstration looking at resource mailboxes. Thank you.